Hey, what's up, guys? And we're doing a Halo tier list. Before we start the video, join my Discord down below. Link in the description. Um, to be in community videos that I'm gonna be doing soon, and just you know to hang out and like the video, put on notifications, and also subscribe for more Halo and Xbox. But I'm, I'm gonna start off with Halo Combat Evolved, and I'm gonna lose subscribers for this one. I don't think Halo Combat Evolved is as great as people say. Now, before you click off and dislike, let me explain. I just personally, I even don't know. I'm okay. I'm saying it wrong. I love the game. I love Halo Combat Evolved. For for its time, it's a masterpiece. Ten out of ten, and it, it could it can't be beaten. It's the best game for its time. But unlike games like Halo Three and Two, it just does not compare you know for today's standards it's not up to date today's standards and also it has the worst mission in halo history the library but like i said it started off halo it is the foundation on what halo is built on so i can't give it anything below than an a it can't go s category but it's definitely an a and the multiplayer is incredible that's what i was mostly talking about campaign multiplayer is incredible for halo combat evolve so next Halo 2 and wow the things I have to say about this game first of all the campaign is a 10 out of 10 the campaign is uh, close to my favorite campaign in Halo history there's almost nothing in games that beat this you know how you go from the Arbiter to the Master Chief back and forth and it's just you know it's, it's not it's not just a one-sided story and that's what I love about it you know we get to see the banished and it, it's all around just incredible it's, it's an incredible story for the multiplayer same thing incredible maps some of my favorite maps in halo history so you know just overall an incredible time it's an overall incredible game and it's gonna honestly for a halo game it's gonna get an s tier it is up there for sure overall this game is incredible you know it, it's the it's basically nearly a perfect game so I'm, I'm just gonna tell you guys right now i made my own tier for halo 3 halo 3 is uh, halo 3 tier as a game overall halo 3 is just the perfect one it is my top three favorite games of all time it is up there with call of duty modern warfare 2 the campaign 10 out of 10 multiplayer 10 out of 10 every map is near perfection it's just the full package the forge mode the introduction to the forge mode it's just all incredible it, halo 3 is just what every halo game should look up to and i see a lot of people saying that with halo 2 but every halo 3 is what every halo game should look up to because it's that incredible it is easily one of the best games to ever be created you know and also another thing the soundtrack is the, the one of the best soundtracks in gaming history it has every every mission has weight to it every map is fun exciting so yeah i, I just could go on like i could make a i would be here for an hour if i had to talk about how good halo 3 is but we have to move on before i get to the next one let me just um yeah spartan strike goes down there um uh, right there and halo wars 2 you know I, I didn't hate halo wars 2 but it's not c compared to like it's not on the same ranking as these you know what i mean so i can't put it these i can't put it below that because that would honestly be a disrespect to these as well i'm putting in i don't care you know i i don't hate i don't i don't hate halo wars 2 i'm just i would just have to play it a little bit more i did play it a lot i would have to play it a little bit more to give my full ranking on it next we have halo 3 odst now this game is a little different it is in my opinion it's definitely unique it's it's not as you know incredible as the last ones but for its campaign mainly it's very very newly unique with mombasa streets uh you're in africa and it's just really cool it's a it's a cool change of pace from one two and three you're instead of you're the, instead of the master chief or the arbiter you're your uh, odst it's a good change of pace especially when you first drop in the first mission is like s tier a lot of these missions are very very good and it's, it kind of has that free roam element to it a, just a little bit but you still have to go to your locations overall it's a solid it's a solid halo game it's a solid game overall I don't have a lot of complaints about it so you know and the characters are pretty nice the soundtrack is close to the best honestly it, it's up there with halo 
two and three and, and honestly another thing it, it makes you you know how you feel like a superhero as the master chief this really gives you a reality check of what it is to be an actual spartan even though this is still odst it's a what you are as an actual spartan it's not like this superhero like master chief you feel like you're superman when you're master chief you don't feel that when you're odst and i really like that i really like that they did that you're more human and uh, i have to give it a b overall because it's an like overall solid game i really liked it we have halo 4 which okay this is this one's very controversial um halo 4 a lot of people didn't like it i know people who brought it back to freaking gamestop when they first got it. it halo 4 is very controversial but the story mode is good and bad the multiplayer is good and bad and the bad parts about it is honestly i think the new mechanics even though i love sprinting in halo games um it just didn't feel right at first it's just a different it felt like a different game overall it got the art style wasn't incredible either you know i didn't really like the art style in halo 4 but honestly when it comes to multiplayer I, I i enjoyed halo 4 halo 4 did have a pretty solid multiplayer in my opinion it's not one two or threes level but it's it's a pretty solid multiplayer it feels smooth it runs good the campaign has a very 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 interesting villain honestly probably top three villains and it shows the more human side of master chief but overall i do have to give this a b tier it is still campaign wise below odst though so next we have halo reach i'm gonna tell you right now that this is the only halo game that i've never played the campaign fully through and it's not because i don't hate it because i heard the campaign is incredible but i'm gonna be ranking halo reach specifically on multiplayer so the multiplayer aspect of it i did feel like the maps were good the the weapons were good but i just did not like the abilities like the lot spartan lock ability you know you lock on the floor that's free that's whack that's stupid i don't know why they would add that the sprinting ability just doesn't feel good you know like hey sprinting in halo 4 feels good sprinting in halo 5 feels good it does not really feel good halo 3 should have gone gone with traditional walking i know it's just a ability and you know you can't unlimited sprint but it should have gone with a traditional more traditional style in my opinion but overall halo reach is a i'm like i said i'm ranking this off of multiplayer only it's a b tier halo game based off of multiplayer so next the most controversial halo game of all time right besides four which is halo 5 now hear me out i'm gonna get some hate for this one i think halo 5 is better than what most people think now let me explain the campaign sure the campaign's bad the can I, I honestly when i played the campaign at first i was like five years ago i didn't even understand what was going on barely i just want to see spartan lock and master chief fight it, it's the the campaign wasn't incredible nothing close to it nothing close to it the multiplayer prevailed and i'm not even joking i absolutely love the multiplayer i loved everything they did with it all the new mechanics and they had a new game mode called warzone which is my one of my favorite additions to halo period i don't care what anybody says halo warzone halo 5 warzone is absolutely incredible and i want to see it make a return full force return in halo infinite because i absolutely love warzone you know it's just a big team battle it just feels good the maps are good the guns are nice the way you get vehicles are nice you know and when you're at the top of the scoreboard it just feels really good halo warzone and you know the multiplayer overall is pretty good you know it does suffer from some okay maps but nothing overly bad you know the new abilities unlike in reach and four they just felt you know all the new abilities felt good and intuitive and you know it felt it still felt like a halo game with new mechanics and I have to applaud it for that. And it has to go to B tier above Halo Reach and Halo 4. Even though Halo 4 had the better campaign, Halo 5 multiplayer was way better than Halo 4. So yeah, if you guys liked the video, like, subscribe. Join my Discord down below to be in my community videos. Turn on notifications. Yeah, that's it guys. See ya.